Hi folks, sorry it's been a, a bit since I uh, made my last video, but today I have a Master Pro Series Model 911. This is uh, one of their all weatherproof models, so it's got all this plastic coating and a cap on the end that's supposed to keep the rain out. But we pop that open, and there you can see uh, the retaining plate. And this is actually uh, a laminated body padlock just with this plastic coating over it. Uh, it is a rekeyable core uh, in the style of uh, American locks, uh, but with the just usual enlarged master lock keyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the uh, Peterson pry bar light, use the long nose, get that set up in there, and uh, this one, you know, finally that extra length really comes in handy. Usually on an American lock, uh, we've got a bit of wiggle room here after we get past the plate. And we're just going to reach in there and start feeling around. And right near the back, I think it's pin 5. There's a little bit of a click. Pin 6, a few clicks. And I think now we should have a bit of a false set going. So I'm going to try pressing on pin 1, and there we go, all set, and getting a little bit of counter-rotation on pin 1, okay, I think that's set, pin 2, a bit more counter-rotation, and set, pin 3 maybe, pin 4 nothing, Back to pin one. Try pin one again. Okay. Kind of rotation on one and open. Now you'll notice that the shackle hasn't popped out. That's because, uh, as part of the weatherproofing, there is no spring on the shackle. So you actually have to pull it out. But now we've got it open. There we go. These are the. Uh, Keys. Come on. Focus. There we go. So, you know, not the most difficult bidding, but you do have that rather deep one uh, hiding that rather high one right at the tip. And like I said, this can be rekeyed. If you look down there, if I can get some light in there, you might be able to just make out a screw. Now, that's a hex screw. It needs a, uh, what is this, a 764th uh, hex driver. So we're going to undo that. And out pops the core and the retaining pieces. And the rest Pretty standard uh, if you're familiar with American locks. <clears throat> uh, now I'm going to need a small follower and some tweezers and a small screwdriver. Some tweezers, follower, and screwdriver because uh, this has a little C clip. Uh, we had the key, so I'm going to lock this back up. We're going to pop that uh, C-clip off, set it aside there, and we're going to unlock it, there we go, and this time, because if you notice uh, the way the tailpiece is arranged, well, it's only got this... Uh, uh, half circle there, so if you turn it like 90 degrees, you're going to be dropping pins into that gap. We don't want that. And that follower is too large. Rummage around in the back down here. Here we go. A smaller one. And it's going to carefully slide this off. And there we go. 
So first order of business is the T pins. And the short one, standard, longer one, standard, medium one, standard, long one, standard. Very small one, standard. And this is something that I had added before. Uh, this is an American lock uh, key pin, so that's serrated. That's my own modification, not stock. And now, uh, here we go. And notice that the shell has these holes in it, so when you are dumping the pins, you need to keep your finger over that so that things don't go flying all over the place. Okay, and that's a spool pin. That's a spool pin. Spool pin. That's a spool pin. That is sort of a serrated pin. And that is an American lock serrated pin. Again, a small modification I had done before. So, let's take a look. No real threading on the chambers or anything. And let's get this. Nice up and focus there. So, normally these come uh, only set up for five pins, but you can add an extra pin that will ride on the tip of the key, which is what I've done here using parts from an American lock uh, pin kit that I have. And you notice the master lock uh, serrated pin is. Come on, focus. focus. Uh, it's only got two very shallow serrations, and they're very widely spaced compared to the American serrated pin. We've got what? One, two, it's like five or so cuts in there, and they're very tightly spaced, which does a much better job of tripping you up. So that's about it for the uh, Master Lock 911. So until next time. Uh, have fun and happy picking.